Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with Cousin Mel. And what I'm going to make for you tonight is um, stuffed enchilada shells. So, got my large shells here. So I'm going to boil, I'm going to get some water, and I'm going to boil this, and I'm going to cook them. And they're the, they're the large shells. So I'm going to cook them uh, al dente. I'm not going to get them too soft because I want to be able to work with them without them falling apart and to hold up with the mixture. So I'm going to get these boiled in, in water. Probably I'll put them on for eight minutes. And uh, and I'll come back and I'll get the ingredients for our meat. But actually, what I'm going to do while these are boiling, I am going to get two pounds of hamburger, and you're going to need a taco mix. And uh, you go by the instructions on this. I think it's one of one package of this to a quarter of a cup of um, water and stir it around when your meat is cooked. So I will show you that part, but I'm gonna get this started and I will be right back. So I have my water boiling and uh, I'm going to cook up my, I got two pounds of hamburger. When my hamburger is cooked, I won't, you guys know how to cook hamburger. Um, I'm going to add my taco seasoning mix and two thirds cup. I thought it was a quarter of a cup, but it's two thirds cup of water to it. And then I'm just gonna let it simmer and thicken up a little bit. Um, when that's done, I'm gonna put it in a bowl and I'm going to put some refried beans in it and um, some chilies. You don't have to use the chilies if you don't want to. Um, I like it just to give it that little, just a little kick. It's not, I don't find them hot because there's no seeds or anything in them. So um, you would probably feel the same way. Like I said, and if you don't want to use them, you don't have to. And I got um, enchilada sauce and I got a nine by 13 pan. So this is a very easy recipe. Um, Preheat your oven to 350. I'm going to get that started too. I don't have that on yet. Um, but I am going to cook my meat. And uh, after I get the meat cooked and the taco seasoning and the water added, let that thicken up. Then I'll come back and uh, we'll get it all in a bowl and ready to stuff the shells. So I'll be right back. My shells are just about done. I got another like four minutes. So what I'm gonna do is once they're done, I'm gonna drain them off and I'm just gonna put some cool water in there just to keep them um, so they're easier to work with and I don't burn my hands. So when I I'm gonna drain them off and then just add some, you can, if you wanna use cold, cold water, you can. I'm just gonna use cool water because they're just gonna be sitting there till I get my beef mixture done. Um, I am only using one can for now, but I did buy two for my, um, for the refried beans. So I'm gonna check it out and I'm going to add it, after I add my taco mix to my meat, I am gonna add it in um, the pot just to help it, cause it's so thick, right? So I'm just gonna put it in there and kind of get it softened up a little bit. And uh, then I'll be back. So I drained my pasta and I got it in cool water. I got the taco seasoning added with the water. Um, and I did drain off any fat that was left over. So I'm gonna add my refried beans and my chilies just to, like I said, I might need to use two cans. Um, if you want to use two cans, I'm going to put the original, my original recipe in. Um, but I'm just going to start off with one can because I'm not really making as much as I did before. Um, so I'll do this first, add it to, and then I'll, I'm going to, I'm going to bring it all. I'll show you what it looks like. So I'll be right back. 
So I did use the two cans of the refried beans. So I'll show you what it looks like. There's what my mixture looks like. I'm just gonna let it cool down a little bit so it's easier to work with. So I'm just kind of stirring it around to see if I can get it to cool down. And then I'm just gonna take a, a teaspoon and add it into, um, into the shells. I'm probably gonna have to make more shells because I don't think I have, I don't think I put enough on. I only put 20 on and I think this is gonna be more. It might not be, but if you can get the bigger, bigger shells, then you'd only probably need 12, but I don't have, I got large shells, but I know you can get bigger ones. And uh, not too often we get them here. It's the odd time that you're lucky enough. But I'm just uh, I'm just gonna cool this, try to get this meat mixture cooled down a little bit. Um, like I said, we're gonna add a little bit of our enchilada sauce on the bottom of our pan. Um, just to cover the pan so they're not sitting, the shells are not sitting right on the uh, on the um, the pan itself during the, the juice. And you're going to need cheese. I'm just using uh, the marble. I got a marble and a Tex-Mex mixed together. But if you want to use like the Colby Jack, um, Pepper Jack, whatever you would like to use. Um, it's up to yourself. And then after they come out of the oven, if you want to put some green onion on it as a garnish, you can do that as well. I forgot to pick up green onion, so I am out of luck with that. So I'm just going to get my uh, mixture cooled down a little bit so it's easy to handle. And I will come back and we'll stuff, stuff some shells. Okay, so I'm going to put you down. This is my nine by 13. And I'm going to take my sauce here. And I'm going to put some on the bottom. Probably about, well, I got three quarters of it, I guess. And just going to put it all around here. So we got a nice base here. All right, so I got my mixture. So I'm gonna grab a shell out of the water. And I'm gonna fill my Fill my shell here. And then I'm just gonna lay it, lay it in the pan. And can you see? This here is the uh, this here is really the only time consuming part here, because it takes uh, a little bit to. Uh, get it stuffed in there but like I said if the meat is cooled down a little bit then it uh, is easier to work with and I might end up having to get another pan because might be too too many here So there we are filling the shells. Fill them up as much as you, much as you can, but it's messy. Here, I'll see if I can turn you just a bit there so you can see. Here, I'll fill up a little bit. Like I said, the cooler the meat, the easier it is to, to work with. And then you just 
jam your mixture in there. Like I said, I might have to use another pan because I'm thinking I have too many, too much meat. But that's okay. Like I said, this is the messiest part. Sometimes the shells are nice and open and Sometimes you really got to open them and get the meat in there. So I will get these done and uh, I will come back and we'll finish it. When I got them all filled, I got what? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So I got 18 of them here. So I just added a little bit more. I had a little bit of meat left over, so I'm just trying to pack it in here. So uh, I'll get this finished up and I'll be right back. But this, what there's what they look like. Now I'm just gonna take the rest of my enchilada sauce and I'm just gonna pour that, oops, over the top. Mm -hmm. One's not enough, that's why you need the two. Is that done? Yeah, you can have garlic bread and rice with this. So then I'm gonna take my cheese Put my cheese over it. You're going to use about two cups of cheese. If you don't want to use two cups, that's fine. I probably won't get all two cups either. But like I said, I will post my original, my original recipe. In there. And now we're going to bake them in the oven, the 350 oven, for 40 minutes till they're nice and bubbly. And uh, then I'll show you what they look like after that. And they're really good. So we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take it out of the oven and then I'll show you what it looks like. Smells so good. Here's what it looks like. I move it down just a little bit. And I'll see if I can try one. Try and get one out. There's what it looks like. Mm. Smell of it is so good. <clears throat> And be careful, it's going to be hot. Mm. Very good. And it got a nice little, little kick to it, nothing major. Mm. that is good guys so that's it for me for this week and we'll see you next week bye guys